I'm Kurt, I'm 21 years old. I was born in Jeffreys Bay. Been surfing here since I was around 11 years old. Been loving it ever since. Doing a few competitions here and there. And then I started getting tired of the swordboarding competition, so I started longboarding just to kind of get a more relaxed feel about surfing and have some fun. That was around 2012 when I got my first longboard, and um, ever since then I've just really enjoyed that and really improved a lot, got some people giving me tips, and uh, this is one of the best waves to surf longboard on in Jeffrey Point. And uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the best feelings for me to just get on longboard surf this break after a long day of work or a long day of just being busy or just kind of relaxing and just having a mellow time. I started surfing shortboard. I was surfing shortboard at first and I just kind of, it got really competitive for me and I just really um, I didn't like being intensely competitive and just trying to do as much as possible on a wave and just kind of uh, showing how good I am and Type of things, and I was just like getting over this and so just kind of relax and, and enjoy myself in the water and, and just keep my head clear. And, uh, so, I, someone suggested that I, I, I try long boarding. And, you know, I've always wanted to try long boarding, and um, I just kind of when I when I lent one of my friends long boards, and I was like, oh, this is actually so cool. So, uh, cruising down the line, and uh, it just felt natural to me. Uh, I started uh, getting tips and tricks from people like uh, Ludi Dutoy and Maher Vibble and maybe Brandon Watson as well and then some other people but the three of them mainly kind of just coached me informally in a sense and, I, and uh, Maher told me why don't you try out for EP trials uh, for, for longboarding and uh, that kind of, I was like, you know, I did shortboarding competitions, let's try out longboarding and uh, I was I got the, I was in the under 18 team first try and uh, and the whole community behind longboarding was so much more fun and relaxed and family orientated that it, it's just it's so much more it's it's more fun than it is comp competing when it comes to a longboarding competition. It's a time for me to relax and also it's something that I've got really good at. Something that I, if you're good at something, you kind of start enjoying it more. And more. My case. Uh, I enjoyed surfing more with my boy because I got better in it really quickly. Uh, so I started surfing when I was in grade, grade 6, maybe grade 7 primary school. I was in 11, 12 around. And uh, it was actually my first, my sister that was the first one of, of us to surf. It was, it's my brother, sister, and I. And uh, she kind of started surfing and then she died off. And then my brother and I were like, why don't we try it as well? And we got a couple of friends naming uh, Yannick Bauer and Ar Arnold for Mark and, and maybe a few others. And the group of us just kind of started surfing together. If I could give any Grom's advice about surfing, and whether it's shortboarding or longboarding, it would be to surf any type of board and any type of wave. Carl Willifield once told me the way he got his style is by surfing every type of board on every type of wave. So that's howling onshore uh, beach break to perfect uh, barreling wave all the way through from uh, super tubes down to point, you know. And, uh, and that would be my same advice because that's the way you kind of get your style going. Because if, if you, you've got one style on a short board, maybe one style on a long board, but uh, if you can combine those styles in the same way, like uh, let's say Michael February, he serves a short board phenomenally and then he serves a fish even better. And I've, yeah, I've even seen him on longboard and he serves longboard really well. And I think once you once you can do that all round type of surfing, it, it improves your surfing so much more. And if I look at Steven Sawyer, he serves shortboard and longboard like crazy. And the reason why shortboarding is so good is because he longboards. Why I say that is because with longboard, if you don't do a complete turn all the way through, you're gonna fall. So where with the short board you can just kind of just snap it and just fling your board around it might look like you're doing a maneuver but you're not going to get the spray, you're not going to get that power. You need that 
full rotation, you need that full flow to really get the big scores when you're doing competition and when you want to keep your speed on a wave.